Let's check back in with meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and we got a chillier start to the day. Oh yeah, temperatures right now in the 40s and 50s. We are going to warm things up very, very quickly though this afternoon. It's going to be a very comfortable Sunday. If you have outdoor plans today, they're going to be awesome. Temperatures right now on the cooler side though. We're at 44 now in Ocala, 52 in Sanford, 63 for us at the Cape, 65 also in Cocoa Beach. The Atlantic has started to warm up a little bit, so that's why we are that much warmer for us right along the coast. Your hour by hour forecast again, this is going to be a nice turnaround, a quick turnaround. So for the first couple of hours of this morning, you might want the jacket again, but you'll shed that quickly. Mid 60s by 10, middle 70s by lunchtime. There we go, mid to upper 70s later on today as sunshine is out and almost full for us. I think we'll bubble up a few of those extra clouds with the heating of the day, especially along the coast as we have just a little more moisture with our breeze coming out of the east. Gorgeous shot here as the sun is coming up. Here is a live look for us in Brevard County at Port Canaveral with our launch credit union camera temperatures into the mid 60s again right along the coast. We're hanging under mostly sunny skies right now. Just a few clouds, especially out at sea. Otherwise, again, everybody inland are seeing the complete sunshine right now. There's our satellite and radar scanning the skies, not finding much. Again, just a few passing clouds out there. We will see just a few of those clouds bubble up with the heating of the day. Otherwise, we are good right along the coast. I think we'll see a few extra clouds playing that out here. There's 10 o'clock again through the 95 corridor. You may see a few extra with those with that breeze out of the east. A stray shower might sneak on shore early on. There's two o'clock getting close to race time of the Daytona 500 should be an excellent afternoon and early evening for the race. Just a few clouds moving inland, a stray sprinkle off our coast. There's eight o'clock tonight. We are mainly clear again. That'll set the stage for a cool morning tomorrow. Not as chilly as what we woke up to this morning, but temperatures are going to surge back into the low 80s tomorrow. In terms of the 500 later on this afternoon, gorgeous 73 by 2. Still hanging tight in the low 70s for most of the race. We'll dip into the upper 60s as we close in on the time of the race end. Winds are going to be out of the east at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So a touch breezy at the track, but otherwise that's your only hiccup. We're not talking about a rain out by this time by any means. Dry for most of the week ahead. We are going to heat things up big time for that. Here is a look at your pinpoint accurate hour by hour forecast and over the next seven days again temperatures are going to surge back into the upper 80s and lower 90s temperatures again really going to start to warm things up there's the upper 70s for us and over the next seven days it's going to get even warmer for that here is a look at your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast temperatures again going to get back into the lower 80s 87 degrees on tuesday we're back to the upper 80s on wednesday hanging around 90 degrees on Thursday and Friday could break some records as we close in on the end of the seven day stretch middle 80s for us on Saturday. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. You got it.